Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Motivational Rant. I am your host, Dean of the Genetic Marvel, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Crystal Morenzi. Good morning, Crystal. How are you? Why, hello. I'm good, Dino. You know, how are you? I'm sitting farther back. You know what I'm fucks okay. me up is that when I gotta go turn on You're the camera... You're already freezing up, so I'm not sure what the here. fuck's happening already, so that's awesome. <laughs> I told you it took a few times to check in. This is this is setting up I to be a fucking you, great one. So I'll tell you that much. That. Don't. What are you talking about, Mister? Will you snap out of it? There we go. Hello. There we go. See. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello. There we go. Now we can... I'm like, will you snap out of it? This is going to be a fucking great one already. Yeah. See, when you enter a situation, Dino, already negative, we talked about this, what's going to happen? Luckily, it's me. Happiness, and I'm like, happiness <sighs> will prevail. That's what happens. Yes, that's what happens. Eventually, sometime. Eventually. Maybe. Someday. <laughs> happiness ah. will prevail. No, Happiness is way better because I'm not angry like you inside and bitter. I was very angry yesterday. I found, okay, you know what? In my defense, um, everyone was acting crazy yesterday in the whole world. I think everyone in the entire universe was had decided to be uh, rage-worthy yesterday. So I secluded myself yesterday and just didn't talk to anyone. Our editor came and... Um, that was really where it all started, because he was like, I talked to him the night before, and I told him this, and I'm like, I'm very angry with you, but it's not really justified, I have no right to be angry, it's not fair, so I'm just going to leave you alone and you do your thing. And he was like, I'm going to work as fast as I can and get the fuck out of here before you, you could but start to kill people. just to let you know, I'm angry with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm unreasonably furious with rage and evil right now, specifically for you too. So, and he's like, I'm going to work as fast as I can and get the fuck out of here. I'm like, that's a good plan. And that's what he did. Because um, when I talked to him, so the day before was his birthday. And um, so I texted yeah. him. I said, hey, are you still coming tomorrow? Which would have been yesterday. And he said, uh, yeah. I go, what time are you going to come? He's like, I'll be there in the afternoon. Now, this proceeded with me finally not hearing from him. So I texted him at around 1 and say, hey, what's up, guy? A half hour after that, he's like, oh, I'm just waking up. And right there, I go, this is going to be great. And then he's like, yeah, listen, I'm just going to get, get, get ready and uh, I'll head out soon. Okay. So he didn't actually leave his house until about four. And I'm like, listen... And my last text is, listen, if you want to just come tomorrow, that's fine too. Just come tomorrow. He's like, no, 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 I already left. <sighs> he eventually gets here at like 5.30. And I'm just like, hi. So this morning I got to... You could just imagine. Yeah. You. And I just... And Victoria, Victoria mm -hmm. was doing stuff that I was not happy with. And I was just, I was just not happy at all. So mm -hmm. I was just like, hey, listen... I know that I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna be a bad-minded piece of shit today, so I'm like leave me alone, and come see me later. That's all I did, and she was like, "Well." And he still wants to talk to me though and drag me through his shit. Lucky me. That's a good point. <laughs> that is a, definitely a good point. <laughs> He's like, I wanted to isolate everybody, but yet he was calling me. So yeah. you want to do a podcast? Do you want to maybe do one this afternoon? That's not what happened. <laughs> I told. I said, hey, so he just wanted to vent on me and yell at not, me so that way he feels better and everybody else is happy. That's not what happened. <laughs> and you'll notice that Crystal started commenting on everything, <laughs> trying to make it's her cool, point though. sink you can in. Do it. Nah. That's not going to happen. Uh, like, oh no, God. I just repeat what I said because I have to... The verbal <laughs> diarrhea. That's what she's got. No. How are you, Crystal? No. It... Uh, now you look frozen. I'm awesome. <laughs> uh, I asked her how she was. I'm not. Are you frozen? Am I still frozen to you? Uh, really? Did you not hear me? Can you see me now? Hello, can you see me now? Nope. I guess not, because he's frozen. This like is this. not going well. Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, and this is going to make him even more mad. <laughs> you know when people get mad you know over things? Give me one second. I'll be back. 
I'm going to when, just. I don't know. Certain times people get mad over things that maybe this, aren't so big in life. And hopefully I can come you back know, and like, be fine. Is it I'm gonna really to going LTE to affect instead of my how is it going to affect your life? Apparently when other people are going to change through things that house. are like life changing. I'm so happy today. And I'm they want to stay positive. And it's, and it's so hard to stay positive when people are Hi. Like, oh, no. When people are negative. I need to finish that for them because it was a really good. <laughs> I'll watch it. Do you want me to tell you? Sure, go ahead. I don't give a shit. Do you want me to tell you? Well, it was just, it's really hard sometimes in life because I'm a super positive person, right? Yeah. And when you see people getting upset and everybody has every right to take things in life the way they happen in their own way. And that's how we're all different. We all have our own perception of what is meaningful, worth anger, worth hate, worth ruining our day because now we're cranky and ruining the day of everyone else in, around us and stuff and it's just what is worth it in life because sometimes like is it worth getting angry over the it's like building mountains out of or anthills so if things are i don't know what the saying is where yeah. there's like making a big deal out of nothing type yeah. thing and it's just because it's like maybe if we save some of that anger for when it's important then we can use it towards something good instead of like because we get so built up over things that maybe we can't change and we it doesn't really matter if it's gonna be different you know what i mean than what we expected the outcome to be of a situation because not everything works out the way you plan it in life a lot so i, I, or, I have <laughs> advice and you just gotta keep i on. have advice for people in that situation <laughs> Think about how Dino feels about things, and if Dino would be mad, you're probably a piece of shit. That's that's what I go by. Uh, if, if, no. The way you're acting would make Dino mad, you're a piece of shit. So you need to stop being like that no. because your attitude is garbage <laughs> and you're ruining stop people's lives. No. That's true. That is exactly no. how people's lives get ruined. No, don't. That's not at all. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying that. Like, because I, like I said, everybody has their own right. Because I don't know how it affects people. Because people get emotional over different things or certain things. It's like when you fight with somebody, you don't understand why they're not as upset about something as you are. Like, why doesn't this anger you? And you want them to be kind of on the same level when you're like, why isn't this bothering you? But they don't see it through your eye. They don't get it. We all have different perceptions of the situation. So what could anger you might not be like understandable for somebody else sure. and that's maybe why they're not communicating back the way that you want them to also, well if you're communicating and you just want people to be as angry as you are that's called being a master of propaganda and you're <laughs> right. well you want them to be apologetic for your even, anger, though, even or worse you want them to compensate for your anger which is the reaction that people are looking for or you know they're like justify my anger yeah Basically. But look, that's the, like justify it. Yeah, and, fix and it. I, I really don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that whole idea that my anger. You have to hear my anger because the fact is, I, where were we watching this? I was watching this, and it was like maybe it was one of our pond. We might have discussed it too. Was that just some people? Yeah, apparently, where where knowledge comes from now, guys. That's an amazing thing. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> no. I watch our stuff all the time, <laughs> so maybe I'm just repeating something I've said. <laughs> maybe. I think she may be repeating That's something exactly. I said, and she's she turning it into her own. Bleh, that didn't happen. Because <laughs> if I did, then I'd be telling me how wrong I am. Probably. <laughs> we all know the truth, guys. How we all wrong know the I truth. am. <laughs> I'm gonna dig through the um, 30 plus episodes that we recorded this, but actually no, this is this Woo! is episode 50 I think that we're doing today. Um, so I'm is gonna really? I'm gonna watch the 49 <gasps> before it. Would you get me? I'm gonna Rick, watch the 49 before it and find out when I said that, and then I'm gonna reference it in the notes and be like, she's taking this from this episode when I said it. Bam! That's how I know. No, I'm just kidding. I have no <laughs> idea what she did. Um, because <laughs> that happens. I have no idea why that moment came i was chipped you I betcha told you. um <laughs> no this this is the problem is if someone just wants to be angry um and for that they want you to apologize for their anger no that's that's a hard pass there are certain times when you know what when you want to have a discussion about things by all means i remember talking with somebody and i said well okay we were talking about 
racism and things like that. And I said, no, I agree. It's it, People are racist and it's bullshit. It's wrong. She goes, well, you're white. And I go, okay. And what does that have to do with anything? She goes, so that means you're racist. And I'm like, that's actually racist that you said that. So that's not going to yeah. work. I go, and besides, I'm actually Greek. Did you know that Greek people were enslaved by the Ottoman yeah. Empire by, for 400 years? That they fought people off without an army, just with pitchforks and farm utensils with the resistance? Did you know that? Most people don't. So, hmm, maybe read I'm a book. I'm French. Yeah. Like, a lot of our bodies are up in a tunnel oh, still. Yeah. And it's, so, people have this crazy like, idea no. that they're owed anything. That's just false. Now, if someone is wronged physically and, um, you know, they deserve an apology. That's fair. That's that's not unreasonable. But if you're if you're if you're saying, well, you need to apologize. Well, I didn't do nothing to you. So, sorry, you're not getting an apology from me because I didn't do anything. If I did do well, something, hey, even if absolutely. they don't say, even if they don't say you need an apology, but if someone basically tells you this, like when somebody confronts somebody and they think that they have, well. I'm just going to say that I was up, off put by this or I'm going to explain that I was angry about this. And then they say their point and they say it as if, you know, okay, but now I'm fine and I'm dealing with it or something. That's, that's just a condescending way of basically telling a person you that would, you're fucking not okay with what they did yeah. and blah, blah. Well, that's, and that's, <laughs> listen, this is going to be our last episode because we're going to get still, shut down with the way things are going. There's no <laughs> question about it, right? Why? Why? Because right now, <laughs> what stuff we're talking about is not acceptable. People feel that, no, you have to be Wait. apologetic and for a history you had no party to. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not going to. And you know what? And I refuse. <laughs> I adamantly refuse. And there there are people that I know that know me that have uh, gone off on a tangent. And you know what? I hope them the best. I really do. I hope them the best because, in all mm. honesty, I don't think people are treated well in general. I don't. I think people should be treated better, and that's a, something that we as a society can learn. But if you're going to come there and say, listen, number one, everyone uh, that's been at protests, like, this is the problem, is there are memes now going on about how you know it's a problem when white people are protesting against other white people against their whiteness. Like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> people who are actually trying to affect change aren't involved in half of the shit that's going on right now. And this is this is one of the big things, is that this it's, out of, it's just out of so. control. People have so caused this. People have caused this because they're saying that we have to have all this placement and they're trying to think, that makes people really uncomfortable. That's like a wife... Okay, let's put this in perspective for people so that way it touches base. Here we go. A wife finds out that her husband cheated on her. <laughs> a wife finds out that her husband cheated on her, okay? okay? She never lets it down. Yeah. She, they stay together, they stay together, they had kids together, they had all these great right? moments but together, she becomes it was a this one time right. thing, and she never lets him live it down. She tells all their friends, everything else, she blows it up, she never lets him live it right. down. And they stay together forever, and that's just the way, this is what's going on. Yeah. And this is like, it, there's been so much progression. There's been so much, and I know it's hard for everyone to notice, but there's so much. Okay, I was just watching this thing today, and I will say it. There was a man killed, and he was a lawyer and a, preach, a preacher, all this stuff. A black gentleman killed, and I'm so sorry, I should have write things down. But um, he was killed just like days after the George Floyd incident. That's horrible. Okay, and he was on the... And it, but this is the thing. Just after that, just two days before that, he was holding up a Trump sign, saying, talking about supporting Trump and talking about things that Obama had done that was not okay. okay. And then he was shot in broad daylight, yeah. just days off of the George um, Floyd death. Okay, just fucking days off right. of it. And I think it was in Chicago, and not a fucking word. No. There was also like. I think there was three little black um, Afri black children killed and nobody talked about yep. it too. All done by, like, just because of the family, apparently. So, like, there's just so many things. So what lives matter? So what, tell them, like, and it seemed that it's all people that only support that want, like, if you don't support my opinion, you don't count. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? And it's not like you Which, don't support their opinion, because you really do. Because there is a good cause. There is problems. Uh, with, there is racism. There is stuff like that. There are those people that need to be dealt with because we have a bunch of fucking retards walking around the earth. The that people that actually are racist. The people that actually are like that. Instead, we have these people that have never been through shit in their life protesting against something that they know fuck all about and ruining it for the people that actually have a mouth, that actually have something to fight for. You know they are trying you know, to fight. Because now they're actually sitting there like, look, you guys are making us look like fucking douches. Like, you might as well be freaking um, vanilla ice for black people. Like, fuck. Like, <laughs> We're for white fucked. People, both sides. We're losing subscribers on this episode. <laughs> and you know what? So be it. So be it. I, I'm sticking with it. We might gain new ones. <laughs> You know what? And, and look, and let's be no, honest. No, we don't want those let's kind. Be, let's be honest. He's somebody who's like Black Lives Matter. Yes, yes. that's true. And and a lot of people. A well, a lot right. of people have been like, well, all lives matter. Okay. And and the the attention yeah. for that has been like, well, if if my house There's is been a, a fight, hold on, though. let me talk. Let me talk. To, I gave a you a chance. You let me sorry, talk, I'm woman. Sorry. How did she should have never okay. got the vote? No, I'm just joking. This gets me riled up. No, you don't say. You don't. I never would have thought it. I didn't. Did you guys realize? I didn't realize. So. I've been YouTubing it all day. Sorry. That's horrible. That is definitely why this is gonna go to shit. So let's minute sixteen, and we're balls deep in a fucking mess. Let's go. So. The right. example has been given that well, all lives matter. Okay, and people are getting mad because they're saying, "Listen, no one's saying all lives don't matter. What we're saying is." Black Lives Matter specifically because they're being persecuted. Now, that being said, I understand that and I actually agree that you're trying to draw attention to a specific organization. Now, the difficulty is that you've had literally every other organization that has felt real or their own self-imposed type of persecution, which those are other groups, um, they're jumping onto this bandwagon. So now you have a bunch of people who are not being heard, who are the ones that started things, and then you have another group of people who are just saying, well, if they're getting heard, let's just latch onto them and hopefully we can get heard too. Now, I understand this tactic, I don't approve this tactic because it's your, it is, it is essentially your, your persecuting those people. They've done a lot of hard work to get their voices heard and you're piggybacking on them I don't think it's very fair. I think it's unreasonable because you're literally this is this is persecution. You're trying to profit on the backs of people who have already done all this work. Ta-da! You're a piece of shit. It's like saying you're gay because you kissed a couple of dudes just so that you can hop on the gay bay with. Let's you. say it's not. Let's say that wagon. point didn't never made because we're not even gonna touch that one, okay? <laughs> not gonna touch it, okay? What I'm saying is this is that people need to, if we want to handle something, let's handle something. Today, okay, today, there was, uh, it was today and yesterday, I think, they were uh, talking with heads of industry, such as the head of Facebook, the head of Google, the head of Amazon, about how are they monopolies and da da da. Now, I'm old as shit. Now, I remember when these meetings were happening for Microsoft. And it was a huge fucking thing because essentially they were like, you have too much power. Now, the problem is now that you have three companies who are bigger, if not comparable, to Microsoft, which is astounding that they exist. Bigger. Now, the best part is that multiple of them, now, Zuckerberg, the robot that he is, went out there and said, nope, we hold American principles first. We are an American company. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> now, whether that's true or not, not the point. The point was that then senators in turn asked the other companies, so which was Google, Amazon, and something else. I don't know what it was. Who cares? But was said, are you guys, do you guys share the same sentiment? And he goes, oh, so none of you do. Okay. And then just started railing into them. Now, the problem is you have a senator who's the head of this investigation on the Republican side who starts attacking Zuckerberg who runs, Mr. Zuckerberg runs Facebook. He starts attacking Zuckerberg because Twitter blocked the president's son and the president. What the fuck? You have the guy who's running the train on this who can't fucking figure out what company he's talking to. Now, 
This comes down to a inherently bigger problem, is you have things like gerrymandering, so that certain people's votes aren't carrying the same weight as others. You have politicians who have never had a real fucking job. You have activists who are able to lobby certain politicians. Okay, think about it. Why has smoking not been made illegal? I, I smoke, and I love smoking. I would be smoking right now on this podcast if my wife wouldn't come in and castrate me if she found out I was smoking inside. That's it. That's the only reason. Yeah. If she said, you know what, <laughs> if you want to have a couple of smokes inside, no problem, she would regret it in less than four hours. In four <laughs> hours' time, she'd be like, there's ash everywhere, you walk around with a lit cigarette, it smells like smoke, you're a fucking piece of shit, get the fuck out of my house. That's what would happen, okay? Mm. Now, what we... Well, you don't want to stink. I already stink. I don't give a shit. I'm a fat guy. I'm a fat guy in quarantine. Trust me. Things could not get lower for me. I'm... I, if I get pants, oh. if I wear pants, I might have a wedding that day or something, okay? So, the point is this. You have an entire group of people, and that, and this is, you know what, we try not to focus on politics and religion and stuff like that. So I'm not saying which political party this is. What I'm saying is this is happening in Canada as well. You have a group of people who have never done a day's work. Not one day's worth of work, Okay. They are a, a plethora of people who are lawyers, which we all know aren't really people. They're barely scavengers, okay? Mm -hmm. They're disgusting, and they should all be... Just, they should all... That's not true. It's completely true. They're all pieces of shit. That, that's not true. Every one of them. I'm going to need a good one one Every day. Every one of them. That's not no. true. <laughs> that's no, no. True. Every one of them is a piece of dog mm -hmm. shit. You just have to find the shittier one as a human. So a good lawyer <laughs> is a shitty human. So the better the lawyer, the shittier the person. I will find, if I need a lawyer, I'm going to find the shittiest fucking person. The guy who walks around with a camera on his toe so he can look up your skirt and then says, well, you walked over, it's not my fault. I'm talking, I'm looking for the shittiest fucking person, okay? Now, the problem is... Like Epstein's lawyer. Yeah, exactly. The problem is that those guys are traditionally politicians. This is the problem, people. We have an opportunity oh. where we are, okay, we have our Prime Minister, who has now essentially been uh, accused of profiteering. Uh, Which they all do. Yeah, this is the problem, is <laughs> they all do it. They're all garbage. Yeah. And the best part is people are like, well, you know, he's liberal, we're going to vote conservative. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe you didn't know this. They're all shit! Every last one of them, okay? <laughs> That's why is yeah. you can't stand here and look in the states you have a bunch of people going well I'm not sure that's uh, very reasonable you don't know who you're talking to right now and you re represent people you can't represent your hand wiping your asshole moron so you know what get these people fuck out of here we have an entire system we have an entire system created to not only keep these people in some sort of authority but to force their suckage on everyone and their just magical look. Well, you know, listen, you know why Trudeau got voted in? Guy's beautiful. He's sexy. Goddamn. And you know what? His dad wasn't the worst person in the world. Close. Close. Pierre Trudeau. No, I was talking about uh, Fidel Castro. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, we all know it. Eh, no, that's a, that is a conspiracy <laughs> theory, but still. All I'm saying is this. The kid, we, we had a hope that, well, well, Pierre Trudeau, he stood for something. Nah, he didn't. Just another fucking bullshit politician who tried to get away with everything. Kind of racist. Oh, he was, <laughs> he was French. Kind of They're all racist. Are you kidding me? <laughs> French people are racist against fuck other you. white people. Yeah, well, fuck you too, okay? Listen, fuck all you. French people, <laughs> all French people should be herded down into Louisiana and fucking left there. Anyways, so what I'm saying is... <laughs> Greek is anal. <laughs> no, 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 no. We didn't start it. We perfected it and gave it to the world. Okay? <laughs> That's what we did, because we're givers. We give to everyone. We gave you democracy. You fucked it up. Fucked it up twice. Gave you math. You made it harder. Who does that? I'm going to give you something hard. You know what would be better if I made this harder? You're an idiot. That's what you are. No, I can't handle this. Look, 
<laughs> guys, where I'm not being political, <laughs> I'm telling you that politicians across the board suck shit. Have zero give they give zero fucks about your situation. Life experience. They have zero <laughs> fucks about life experience. These people are what I call a burden on society. But some of them are pretty, some of them are charismatic, some people have sucked the right dick. And that's the men. The women, they don't have to do that. All they have to do is have nudie pictures sent to them. They're just happy housewives. <laughs> they just housewives that became oh. <laughs> in politics. And the worst part is, good dinner and now, parties. They have the right look, dinner and parties. now you have a representation, <laughs> especially in, in the U.S., we're seeing certain uh, female uh, politicians gain notoriety and things are going well. And then what happened? The one girl, uh, woman, sorry, I say girl, I do apologize. That's I don't mean to uh, degrade her in any way, shape, or form. But the one woman, uh, which people were like, oh, it's a step forward because she had... Uh, uh, head covering, a scarf that covers her head. Okay, and people are like, see, we're progressive. What happened? She gave her husband's company as a whatever loan or some sort of gift a million dollars. What the fuck? I don't care where you're from. Yeah. You're a fucking thief. Fuck off. It's if you're qualified for the fucking job. Do you know that they said that they don't care? Like there's certain people in the states, and this just blows my mind everywhere. Because even as a woman, they're like, we don't care if like the next president. We just want it to be a woman, and it'd be better if she was of a different uh, like ethnicity. Even as a woman, I'm like, I don't want a job just because you needed good numbers, or because you want to set a civil standard. I want a job because I'm fucking qualified. Like, how about that? And how about realistically? Realistically, in, as U.S. being a war country, am I going to want to go over there? Me, I'm a little bit ballsy. But, like, am I going to want to go over to North Korea and be like, hello, let's make a, let's do a deal. Let's, well, you know, the let's so you, talk some listen, shit. You wouldn't, be, you wouldn't no. be allowed, number one. Number two. Exactly. There are exactly. other countries who are strongly controlled by significantly, mm -hmm. um, distorted views where mm -hmm. they yeah. look at other well it's not distorted to them hold on it's their it's their way we hey. can't sit and judge you're not because... gonna like this trust me you're on my side okay okay there okay. are certain areas where they not only look down on women but they look down on people who are of another of other descent to the point where if those women are assaulted it's not a crime Okay, that uh, here's a question: Are you going to send your authoritative power, who in this case we're, we're talking about is a woman, to that country? Do you feel comfortable with it? I don't, and that's not not for her. I'm not saying for her. I don't trust those fucks. Yeah, because you know what? No, no leaders. person, no person, and not war countries. So. Yeah. Listen, like there's there are, <laughs> and that's look, great. There are, there is no reason <laughs> that any listen. man or woman or child should ever mm. feel that their life is in danger just because they're going about their own business. Okay, that's the fact. That's the truth of what we're talking about. It doesn't matter what country you're in. Yep. Doesn't it's matter what, what color your skin six. is. It doesn't matter what religion you are. You should not feel in danger going about your own business. Now, if you, and this is where things get really sticky, and you know what, and this is our opinion, we're not experts on anything, guys, but this is, this is, we're really pushing the wire here to really fuck some people up. What I'm saying is this. <laughs> you know, there was pictures of one guy who there was a fight between police and protesters, which they're not protesters, they're rioters, that's what we know, okay? And the guy is in a wheelchair, and he gets knocked out of his wheelchair, and everyone's like, see what they did? Fuck you. You know why? You're in a wheelchair. Guess what? It's a fight. Shit's gonna happen. That's it. And you know what? I'm not saying he can't defend himself. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be there. What I'm saying is, get over it. He felt, look, he got knocked down. Yeah. And then he got arrested. And you know what? Yeah. You want to riot? You're gonna get punished. Why? Because that's against the law. Yeah. Sorry. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, you're disabled? And that gives you what? The right to do what? Nothing. It gives yeah. you exactly well, it the is. same. We're talking about, we're, we need to eliminate persecution. We should stop thinking about, oh, well, this person should be able to. No, no, no. We should all, right across the board, see that? One line. One line. Mm -hmm. We're all equal. If you're not thinking that way, yeah. sorry, you might be racist. 
You might be a bigot. And you know what? You need to work on yourself. I thought that's what the fight was for. I think originally, I'm pretty sure that's what the whole fight was for. I think everybody's kind of losing well, what their interest is, like what they're there for. I thought the fight was for to make everybody equal, equality. Like, isn't that just people just want to be able to live their lives? That's all they wanted. Can you imagine going, living your life in fear, living your life every day? Like, these people just want to live their lives and not have to stress, not have to freak out, not have to. And then everybody just, and that's what their fight was for. And if that's what your fight is for, then fight it because you deserve yeah. that. But if your fight is not for that, then fuck off and do that. Live your life. Live, fight your own fight that, to make it a good life. See, I told you you'd be on my side. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, we're very oh, yeah, different. And as we covered, we have had very different experiences in life. <laughs> Mine mostly sexual. <laughs> my experience has been mostly sexual. Uh, Crystal grew up in a nunnery. Um, it was a nunnery for only very short women. So she, it was, and no one was over five feet in the entire nunnery except one person. They called her Big Big Bertha. Uh, she was a solid five six. She was there for the high shelves. She walked around with a ladder. They just strapped it to her back. It was very weird. Um, it was to help people go on bunk beds. They would just climb on top of her. But the point is this. She breastfed me till I was 13. Obviously. <laughs> It was the question of who, it was really a circle of little spoons, just until Bertha, that's what happened, no. Um, the point is, guys, is that um, I'm not saying we're right, I'm not saying we're wrong. What I'm saying is we feel that no one should be above the law, nobody should be beneath the law, the law should be an equalizer for all. And if people are being persecuted because of their... Uh, abilities or lack thereof, their skin color, their education, where they're from, that's okay. that's not okay. I was about to say that's okay. And I'm like, no, no, it's not okay. It's definitely not okay. It's definitely not okay. And that's why is that because look, we've all been on this scenario where you see somebody and you'll make fun of them because they're easy to make fun of. I'm a comic. That's a, it's low hanging fruit. It makes things easier and a lot of guy goes, yeah, that guy looks funny. Okay? But you don't think of but it in like a way. When I get on stage, I'll thank that person and be like, hey, thanks for playing along. Why? Because it's just a joke. We're not I don't look at it I don't look at him and go, uh no, I say that's an opportunity for a joke. I'm gonna fuck shit up. Okay? Not the same thing. And that's why you have a lot of people who are like, Well, we need safe spaces for comedy. No, we don't. We need safe spaces to have open discussion. And that's what comedy should be. Oh god. But, me and you put down each other like crazy. Like... No, I don't get put down. I get elevated. I'm the only one in that... I'm the one that... I do too. I get very... I get motivated by your... <laughs> criticism. Now, who's the one starting the cult? That's the real question. <laughs> uh, with his douchey coffee and all. Hey. <laughs> I'm a fancy lord. That's his Kool-Aid. I'm a fancy lord. Oh, that's Ooh, not my Kool-Aid. You guys Kool fancy Kool-Aid. It's not fancy Kool-Aid. I do not. I have not. I have not had Kool-Aid in a very long time. I remember it being good, but it's just sugar, it. right? Like, how could it not be good? Ooh, I don't like it. I've never liked it. Listen, you'll take it and you'll like it. And I grew up poor as fuck, and I hated Kool-Aid. <laughs> I hated Kool-Aid. Those kids were lucky, actually, probably. Listen, you know what I remember more was we would get like on like job or not job day that we would have like uh, like a uh, track day where everyone was doing like track activities and stuff like that and we would get a one of those yeah. giant fucking uh, yellow coolers from McDonald's with orange drink and it was so oh, good. Yes. But the bastards, you know what they would do? Is they would give yeah, you only the those cone cups. So it was, it was like half measure. Yeah. I'm like when we were getting that shit, I'm like, dude, I was already over five feet. I'm like even more. And they're like, it's one per person. I'm like, fuck you. I'm bigger than you, teacher. Give me more. I kind of want to bring out like a stein and be like, give me orange drink. You should have. You should have packed your own. Why didn't you bring your own? You weren't as wise. You weren't as thesaur thesauric back then. I made up that word right now. I wasn't. I was a normal dinosaur, <laughs> not a thesaurus. It That's what I was. No, that means thesauric, word I just made up, you can use it, 
Google. Um, I'm not going to use that. I'll tell you that right now because it's not a real word. Being <laughs> a, you talking, living life like a thesaurus and using fancy words and fancy terms. Oh, and yeah. You just type it. It's, it's, it's a it. bad thing to be culturally sound and to have access to certain vocabulary that other people don't. You can eat shit and die, lady. No, that makes you so much better of a person. It's like, it's you a go thing. to it hell. Makes you a superb human being. No, it makes you a prior or a superior human Obviously. being. Obviously. That's what it makes That's why you. I want to be a robot. Obviously. I want I want the rest <laughs> of me to match up with my super brain. I think that's fair. Yeah. I uh, I yeah. threw out my back earlier today <laughs> and I don't know how I did it. And I'm in a lot of pain. It's not good. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. That's no I good. have, that's I have a, sucks. that's why I'm leaning so far forward. It's because I have a weight belt on and I'm just like trying to not cry. Because I have emotions. Oh, no. no. I don't really have emotions. But I know I should be crying. Yeah. I'm not going to cry because I'm a real man. Mm. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> so. Now you sound like me. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now, people. I've lost my fucking mind. We talked a lot about uh, that stuff, eh? And that's going to really piss people off. I'm going to make that all one clip. I don't think... No. I don't think it is. See, that's the kind of stuff that's... The only people that will get pissed off by stuff like that is the ones that are behaving like that. So, you know what? If you are angry, because we didn't say anything, we're not those people. If you're not those people, the people that think that like that, those are those people. I don't really care. Because who thinks like go that? Go for it. Who the frick no, you want to talk shit? Let's talk shit. Fight your own fight. Shit. You want to go? Let's bring it on. Fight. Other people need to uh, um, Are you talking to me? Are you mad at somebody? Does somebody No, I was like just pointing to, to the camera. Me? I was like, fight Is you. It? I don't know. <laughs> your back pain, though. That's yeah, probably why you're cranky. That is probably why I'm cranky. It's like when you have to poop. It's like, no, yeah, it's it's not as bad as when I have to poop, though. Because I find when I, if I'm backed up, yeah. then I'm like all over. It's just like, Ugh. It's like I'm a, I'm a clogged highway. George St. Pierre was talking about that. Yeah, yeah. George St. Pierre was talking about that. About how, because he had to eat um, every two hours yeah. when he was preparing for the fight with Michael Bisping yeah. and he said that he got really gassy really painful and end up like he got ulcers all yeah, this man. stuff from having to eat so much because your body doesn't have time to poop Absolutely. like you don't have time to process it doesn't give it a break through your intestines oh yeah no and that's why like right that's now all. I'm uh, the one advantage of throwing on a weight belt though is that it kind of pushes things through so all of a sudden you'll take it off you're like oh I need shit yeah. right now and that's not. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, it's, Let it out. It happens. You're like, hey, you know what? Somebody has to do it. But. Um, <laughs> what was I going to ask you? I wish I could like, give you something. I don't know. You know what the problem is? In her mind, she's like, would a raspberry help? I'll give you a raspberry. <laughs> and it's like, no. Why would that ever help no, anyone? No, that would not help. No, well, it would if you were sad, but not if you're in pain, and especially in your back, because then you'd freak out and try to run at me, which would Listen. hurt. And then your body would tense up because you wouldn't be happy with me, so that would hurt even more. And your anger hurts it more, too, because then your stress adds to the pain. I feel so I feel me, like the breath. idea of her, she's like, well, your back is hurting, so I'll give you a raspberry. And I'm like, not on my back. Not now. Definitely not on my back. That's definitely no, no raspberries on my back. I wouldn't do it anywhere on you because I wouldn't want your body to seize up because your body would seize up because you don't like it, which would hurt your back because everything would seize up. And I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to kill you slower than that. So. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> This is not good. God damn it. I've lost her trust and now she's going to murder Remember me. Remember my... God damn it. No, it was only a matter not of time. for a really long time. Remember, my Facebook said 92, so that means i got to keep you around for at least another, like, 80 years. Because I want the last 10 to be fun and I don't want to do podcasts. So... Oh, because <laughs> this isn't fun. Not 80 you years, go to hell. I'm already... Well, it is fun. Fun. I just want to enjoy my tree fort and talk to myself and not feel like I'm crazy. And sometimes I don't get to let out all my crazy on here. Okay, I do a lot. I must apologize, guys. Do you remember I a know. few episodes ago <laughs> when I was like, I don't know what's happening. She's just taking over. That's what's trying to happen now. You stay in your lane, woman. No. <laughs> no, I don't care. You want to talk? You can talk. It's because you don't stop me. No, I need it. <laughs> You're making sounds. You're not even saying I words. I watched the episodes after 
And, well, except for, like, the next 20 episodes because I deleted them all by accident. But <laughs> usually I watch my stuff and I haven't been able to. So when I watch the episodes, too, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Everyone, no. I'm like, you gotta change I think, that. I th you gotta work on that. I think you're not, you're not giving yourself enough credit. I think you're a fantastic co-host. And no, I'm enjoying... And I talk too much. That's just women. And I interrupt you all the That's time. That's just women. Just women <laughs> talk too much in general. And men don't talk enough. That's just how it is. Like, I talk a lot, but that's because like I'm a fancy person. I'm a fancy man with fancy needs. Uh, but I want to hear what you got to say. I don't know what I have to There's say. That when you say something, it gives me an idea. Because am I 100% listening? No. So then I have... <laughs> She's almost never listening to me, people. That is that is actually factual. I'm always listening because I always remember and I repeat everything you say back in my head after. Yeah, yeah, but she would never steal something I've already said. Just saying, people. Nope. <laughs> I've got way too much of my own shit going on up here. <laughs> Fair <laughs> It doesn't make enough. sense. Fair but... enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm... I'm I don't know, today's been a fun day. Just, I've been relaxing and just watching comedy all day, so I've been enjoying that, but... Oh, what you been watching? Uh, I, I literally went through the full, the full gamut of Tom Segura, all this stuff on Netflix, and I loved it. I loved oh. it a lot. I, 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 uh, yeah. I, I hope to be that funny someday, because he's, I really enjoy his humor. I think you're funny. And I appreciate that, it just... But. Yeah. I what think was that? Funny. I think you're funny, but Don't you know. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just saying Tom Segura. I'm like, yeah. Tom Segura, listen. He's socially funny. He's super funny. He's very funny, and he just went crazy for a minute. It's weird. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> it's the funny part is that if you when you watch him, you get to know him and stuff. You're like. Yeah, he's a little bit of a nut bar, and then I'm like, uh, that's like he. So he does on on uh, uh, the was it your mom's house? Your mom's, your mom's house. house, the YMH. Uh, what they does with uh, Christina Pruszynski. Uh, his wife. It's his wife, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things is he'll show this video. Uh, you, I'm sure you've seen it, where he'll show this video of uh, an Asian gentleman getting essentially rammed with a car in his own garage, and. Tom will laugh, and other people are like, that's not funny, man. Like, that guy got hurt, and he's like, yeah, he did. <laughs> and the first time I saw it, I laughed like he laughed. I mean, Joe was like, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, this is really funny. Because he's not dead, but he's really hurt. And he's like, he is going to have some problems after this, and that's funny. And she's like, that's not funny at all. Well, they watch a lot of, like, weird porn stuff and stuff like they that now. Really like, now do. I watch it and they were watching, like, fisting videos and, like, yeah. like weird shit like that. Which I guess it's funny and stuff. But they're, it would be funny if they were going about it in a different way to me. Because, like, it is funny. But they're, like, making fun of people that are, like, doing it and stuff. And it's like, yeah. uh, just make fun of them. Well, like, I don't facts, know. I don't you know. know. Like... like I don't know what they're like. I don't know. It's, it just seems kind of mean. It seems like the preppy kids making fun of people, and then like, and other people are these. I don't know. I just don't think that you need to tease people in order to be funny. Yeah. Or no, put down other people in order saying. to be funny. Well, and that's that's the whole thing is <laughs> is like they they were watching a lot of those TikTok videos, and I'll be honest with you, there were some really horrible ones that I was like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Now, that being said. Uh, do I yeah. think that sometimes they oh, go, yeah, <laughs> like, you know, we're not animals, we're gonna laugh at it, but then after say, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have laughed at that, yeah. that maybe was a little bit too much. Um, but, yeah, like, or I just, I just don't, like, well, then there's, I don't make a thing of it, though. Well, yeah, and that's, that's the thing, <laughs> you know? is, like, you're looking at it, and you're going, this is the, the, the inherent problem, like, okay, when you were young, did you ever lie? Did ever I lie? What? Did you ever lie about stuff? Oh yeah, probably. Kids do. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. there was some. Did you ever? Yeah. No, I did not cut the Barbie's hair. <laughs> this infamous Barbie story. We're gonna have to get into that eventually, right? Okay. What's well, sometime? But I know. Uh, no, I did. That was the extent of it. No. Anyways. That being said, okay. Did someone ever call you out on your shit and be like, "Yo, you're full of shit"? That's not true. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah. This yeah, is the problem. Okay. Yeah. Growing up, 
in in well when I grew up it was a few years later that Crystal grew up still in a time of limited internet <laughs> she's only 12 <laughs> um but <laughs> She's got like a Benjamin Button disease. She started off and now she's like, it's, it's confusing. But anyways, the point is this. At the height of 4-3, she doesn't know. Who <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Okay, okay. the point, point is this. When you were young, you would lie about shit to so be like, yeah, well, I know that as a fact. And people were going, listen, you're a fucking idiot. It doesn't work that way. Because of things like Twitter and, the, and Instagram and TikTok, people are able to put out videos and expressing their... Stop playing with your gum. Just play with... Sorry. <laughs> She's like... What the fuck, man? <laughs> so, people are immediately able to bypass the council of their community and just go out to the world and say this weird, wonky thing. And you're going... Now, while I understand there is a freedom of speech element, but to some of these people, you're going, Listen, you have a problem here. So, one of the guys they showed a video was a guy who was walking a doll. Like a doll like that was like three feet tall and he walked it down yeah. the hallway saying, come on, these are your first steps. And you're like, what the fuck is that? Like that guy's fucking mental. And that guy's got a fucking problem. He needs, he needs professional help. Right. Like he needs professional so help. So the problem is that the <laughs> internet <laughs> has just essentially, well, I don't need professional help. I'm just gonna show everybody that I can walk my doll. And you're like, Guy, you got some problems. And some people are doing it for attention too. Like some people are Absolutely. doing it for attention. Absolutely. And, stuff. and they're like, even more crazy. You know. They're even more crazy. Cause and well it is. That is actually what psychologists would tell you. Somebody that does it for attention and stuff, that's actually what makes them yeah. the worse too. Like psychologists they will say they put this guy in jail. Um because he said, or like inside the mental asylum, because he had said that he had, he would, um, I don't know, it was something to get him off. He said that he was crazy or whatever. It was something to get him off. And he told the, them this story that happened a while ago that made him sound crazy. But the fact that he, that he admitted to doing something yeah. like that, just to like, yeah. to be crazy, that they were like, Okay, yeah. no, that's weird. Because he said something like about, I don't know, it was just really fucked up. I forget what it was. But it's something better crazy we don't say it. To... It's probably better we don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, it was just something anyways. He said that he did something when he didn't. And they're like, why for somebody to say that they would do that? Yeah makes it even worse and he's like no i'm not i'm not crazy i'm not crazy and they locked this guy up for a long time because he kept saying it yeah and they wouldn't let him out because he wouldn't stop saying and that's, that look, he's like why would you say that you would do that look and that's why like, if you say that oh i'm gonna go do this you're like yeah you can't you can't just like oh i'm gonna go burn down the white house you're like no you can't do that this is and this is why it's like yeah that's yeah. crazy why because like, that's, in, you by yourself yeah you, you want you want to destroy Everything, it's, it's insane, right? And that's the, the, her problem. One of these people, one of the guys on there, was, like, on the, the videos that they were showing, was, uh, what was the other one? Oh, that he was talking, like, he was, uh, like, pretending to be, like, a, I guess a father figure or something. And re he would be talking to the camera, calling the camera princess, big like, hey, princess, you look sad. And, like, having this one-way conversation... And, like, it was fucking mm. creepy. And you're like, yo, that guy needs to be locked up because that guy is not doing... He's yeah. not okay. Now, this is inherently... Yeah. We have... Like the guy that made those hostile well, movies. <laughs> a little bit, right? It's, <laughs> and that's... This is the thing. No, right. That person, whoever has that mindset, needs to be fucking put away. I don't know who wrote those, uh, but... Fuck, because that person needs to be You know that those do up. have ties to, like, real-life <laughs> events, right? Like, hostile movies? Oh, exactly. Oh, I okay, know this. Okay, okay. I know this, yeah. that they do. Crazy. <laughs> well, this is why is that you can't, like, there has to be checks and balances. And that's why, like, a few, one of the episodes we uh, loaded recently was we talked about censorship. And how, like, listen, everyone has a right to say their piece. Now, the fact is that some people are going to be more eloquent at it and be able to deliver it to, to get you on their side. That would be this guy. Other people will have valid points. That would be her. But <clears throat> sometimes it will sound like gobbledygook. Also her. 
doesn't make their point invalid. Um, I have a question. I have a, wait, 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 wait. I have to hold this right now because you always cut me off. You always fucking do this and I have to do this because I said this in a comment on it. So how, because I read, watched one of our videos and you pulled this fucking stuff on me. So let me tell you about this. If a person doesn't speak the same language as you, Okay, let's, so the person doesn't speak the same language. They have cultural differences. A person doesn't have the same perspective on life as yes. you do. And, but they don't understand the words that are coming out right? of your mouth. That makes them an idiot just because they don't understand you. Even if maybe they speak a different Correct. language. They have a completely different perception. That's right. They don't understand the words That's that right. are coming out of your mouth. So that makes them a That's fucking correct. idiot. No, it's not correct. <laughs> okay, just, just to clarify that. Because that's exactly what you're no. saying. Because it's saying. Exa <laughs> and it's mis they're not communicating because you don't understand what they're saying. That means they're not communicating it properly to your needs, princess. Now, I love pressing her buttons on this specifically because she gets so riled up about <laughs> it. Because at the last point, I said just because it comes across as gobbledygook doesn't make it invalid. And she's like, no. Nah! And now she's got that face she's like. I want to say something because I'm not finished. But she hasn't looked at the clock and she knows we only have two more minutes until I go into my morning motivation rant, which she'll cut me off from. She will. How much you want to bet? It's going to happen. Oh, yeah, now she's like, oh, I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to talk again. How about that? So, but the fact is that that doesn't make her point invalid. It doesn't make my point more valid. What we have to do is stop listening to who's delivering it and how they're delivering it and find out what it is. What are the principles we're fighting for? What are the core beliefs that matter to us? If your core belief is that you hate black people, get the fuck out. Go fuck off and die in the ocean. Okay? If you're... If you need to get put in the same hospital room as the mental patients. You can go walk <laughs> dolls like that fucking weirdo on TikTok. Okay? But the point is this. That you and I as well, we as a collective, have no right to persecute somebody on their um, accent... Anything. Their color, where they're from, where they grew up. The, Anything. It's, no, no. Well, there's some things like, fuck those people. But, no, no. I'm just kidding. Okay. But I'm just saying. Like no, like peop, Left-handed peop, people. Oh, no, you know what? I'll do one. Is Mike people McCarthy. who are referred to as trans-abled. Fuck those people. Those are people who disable themselves because they feel better that way. Fuck them. Okay. I'll say that right now. They can go fuck themselves. If you disable yourself because that makes you feel better, just jump in the water. Jump in the water without a lifesaver and we'll just leave you there. If you survive, maybe you'll learn something. If not, we're better off for it because you're a piece of shit. Okay? That's what I think. But the point is, you can't just actively persecute people because you think that they are something. Not fair. Why not have a conversation with them? Let them... Ha let them earn your hate for being a shit person not on something stupid like the color of someone's skin that's a horrible reason to hate somebody it's just so bullshit why would you waste your fucking time with it don't you agree crystal i 100 percent agree with you she's like 100%. i will fucking stab you fat man this is why i think we'll always do it on zoom even when when half the i do have my <laughs> I have my scissors in my hand too. <laughs> I don't. It was just because I was looking for my. You know what, guys? <laughs> I was looking for my weed tray and I couldn't find oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it was, so sorry, like, officer. Oh. It was meant for the weed tray. It just ended up in his fat fucking mouth and I stabbed him 19 <laughs> times because that happens. Okay, now, guys, we're just about out of time, so we're going to go into Morning Motivation Rant. Uh, one thing I want to say was please like, share, subscribe, let your friends know we are. I'm loading now um, not only the full videos every day at 10 a.m., so they're available, but also uh, three clips is what I'm sticking with. Uh, when we have various points, uh, including the Morning Motivation, which I'm loading up even on Facebook as well. Uh, but the main episodes are always on YouTube. At, under Morning Motivational Rant as well. Their uh, full episodes are available on Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Podcast, Radio Public, and Spotify because we're fucking awesome. Uh, also, Freaking we have idiot. our fan page at um, on uh, Instagram. And uh, we, have, we have Instagram, we have a page where we put out posts daily. And as well, we have uh, the Facebook fan page uh, morning motivation rant which is where i'm loading all the videos so please like share subscribe uh keep an eye out we are doing all sorts of stuff but morning motivational rant let's see what do we do our rant for today um let's see 
I I remember when I was in grade oh, four, um, a close friend of mine who I knew even later in life, and I don't know him anymore. Um, he dared me to walk from the playground all the way back to our portable with my shirt rolled up and behind my head. Okay? So it would be like just like back there and just around my arms, but then my chest would be exposed. We were in grade four. I was a chubby kid. Okay? And I was like, sure. And I just did it. And uh, that was the first time people actually stared at me and were like, what the fuck? You're fat. Okay? Now, uh -huh. that... That caused difficulty for me later on in life because I never really understood how to, how to deal with those looks. and It took me years to just become acclimatized to how people treat me. Um, and that's not to, to say that I know how people feel or anything like that. It's more so that there's two ways that I could have taken that. And I'm not saying the way I took it was right or wrong. I just know that my options were was I could get mad and try and change myself. Or I could use it to my advantage and be happy with myself, hell or high water. Because in the end, listen, I was never going to be a model. I was, I was like a solid seven and a half, but six foot two when I was thin. That was the difference. So I'm like, I probably get some people. I had one girl who was like, this girl who was not attractive at all. She was like, hey, do you want to play some pool? This was at, in uh, college. And I was like, uh, sure. She had an okay friend. But she was like, she looked like a hobgoblin. And at one point, I'm assuming she had drank all day. And she was, she walked up, she's like, you're like the hottest guy in here. I'm like, thanks. I think we just won the game. See you later. And I just walked away. But I wasn't interested. But she could be listening, Dina. What? I don't care. But, she no, it's fine. I don't, I don't even know what her name was. But the point was, I could have been like, you? Fuck that. No. I said, wow, thank you. Why? Because it was a compliment. It was nice. And you know what? Was I going to do anything? I was saving myself for marriage. So no, I wasn't going to do anything. But on top of everything, I was just like, I don't want to be in this situation. Thanks for the compliment. I'll see you later. And I walked away. Now, uh, yeah. Yeah. the one thing that I did there was I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have to jeopardize her feelings to make myself feel better. I didn't have to abuse the effort that she made. And I didn't have to condemn her for well okay for lack of a better word for aiming for the stars of that scenario because i was thin and very good looking but the point was this is that i accepted the compliment i showed appreciation and i said i don't want to be in this situation anymore and i made my goodbyes and left that's okay too a lot of this conversations that we're having right now are arguing because i want to be heard you don't have that right. You have a right to say. You don't have the right to be heard. You can't impose what I feel about what you're saying. That's when it's out of your control. And that's one of the things that I've, I've tried to implement in my comedy and in my daily life is that once I say something, once I put it out in, my, in the world, it can be interpreted or misinterpreted however way people feel. That being said, I have a responsibility to make sure that I communicate as best I can so that that limits that misinterpretation. And that's one of the things that we go through on a daily basis because I don't want us to be misquoted. I don't want us to be that. Now, that doesn't mean that the points are valid and it doesn't mean that they shouldn't be accepted. But why don't we have an open dialogue instead of just criticizing and attacking people and actually saying, hey, let's talk about it, okay? I think that's all I have to say. Crystal, where can everybody find you? Everybody can find me at Crystal Morenzi on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and simply me on YouTube. And Dino, ba ba da ba. Guys, you can find me on uh, Dino the Genetic Marvel on YouTube. I have a channel. I also have Instagram. I also have a fan page on Facebook, the Book Face. It's very exciting. Uh, I have Twitter, but don't really tweet. But uh, what's more important, guys, is please like, share, and subscribe our videos on Morning Motivational Rant on our YouTube channel. We have the Facebook fan page. We have Instagram. We are using all the technologies. It's very exciting. <laughs> it's a pain in my existence. Um, 
But we're also available on audio files for Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. It's all done through uh, through Anchor. Uh, they have been a great support. But uh, it's under Morning Motion, Morning Motivational Rant. So uh, if you want, I uh, somebody already asked for it. And I sent them a link. By all means, you can comment on one of the videos, and I will send you a link for uh, any of those feeds that you're looking for. But we are out there, guys. Listen, be motivated today. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow. Thank and you. we'll have more for you then. Bye. Bye, guys.